to the People Chronicle Storied Women. My name is Anna Rose and Gara Milch, and I am your host. I am also the reigning Ms. Pennsylvania Senior America 2016. But today I have a special guest. Her name is Merle Milheim. She is Ms. Pennsylvania Senior America 1994. She is my queen. And today Merle's going to tell you her story. Welcome you so much for coming. I thank you. Thank you so much, Merle. Thank you. So I'm going to ask you now the one question. What is it that you want our viewers, our listeners, to remember from our little chat today? The point in life is you keep going, you don't give up, and look for the end of the rainbow. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. So how long have you been going? How long have I been going? I have been performing in public since I was six. And how old are you now? Uh, 87. 87. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. That's right. why I say she's my queen. She, she's <laughs> our senior queen. The Thank senior you. All seniors. It's Thank wonderful. you. Well, so, okay, tell us a little bit about why, how do you know that, you know, I, I, I totally agree with you. We, we all have to keep going. Just yes. keep going, keep going. So tell me, how is it that you do this? So you say you started out at six and you keep going. So what else have you been doing? Well, first of all, I'm a cockeyed optimist. You're a cockeyed optimist? <laughs> um, I always believe in, the, better, in the, the nice side of life. It's there if you look for it. Uh, and when I say keep going, don't give up, uh, I had an, an ultimate experience in my life. Really, can you share that? 11 years ago, my whole heart blew. In your body? My whole heart blew. Every valve is rebuilt, a hole is closed, and that was 11 years ago. Wow. And that's when I would not give up. Even though I was out for two and a half days, Wow. I came back. It's not my time to go. <laughs> So I am very fortunate that I still sing, I still direct, I still perform. So, so you have this, so you just are going about your life and you have as a, as a wife, as a mother, as a grandmother, as a great grandmother, right? And uh, then all of a sudden your heart just explodes. The heart blew. The, the arteries are fine. And, and so where are you when this happens? At home? I mean, um, <clears throat> Well, yes. I was driving home from babysitting. Driving? <laughs> driving home from um, Alexander, Virginia, um, uh, babysitting for my grandson. Yes. I have three children, five grandchildren, nine great-grandchildren. Wow. And, so, and then you just felt sick? And I drove myself to the hospital. You drove yourself to the hospital, and then you were... You and they sent me home and said I had pneumonia because my ankles weren't swelled. And there's a story behind that goes with my skinny ankles. <laughs> Can I tell that? Sure. I'm a retired teacher. And I taught junior high 30 years. So out the bus window or around the corner or whatever, I would hear, Sergeant Bird Legs. <laughs> because your ankles Because my ankles are so skinny. <laughs> right. But no. Uh, the idea is music has kept me going. Music has been my life, our family. As I said, myself and two sisters first sang in public three-part harmony. I was six, June was seven, and Ellie was four and a half. And we sang together for 71 years. Wow. Till June passed away. And do you um, still sing with Ellie? Yes, Ellie. Yes, she'll be here. She'll be here. Yeah, she'll be here. <laughs> uh, all three of us were queens. That's right. Right. June started it. It's her fault. <laughs> all right. So, so, uh, so, okay, so when 11 years ago when this happens and they fix you, and then when you, you know, when you have a life-changing experience like that, what, what's that like? I mean, what happens then? I would think that the thing that really keeps, keeps me going is the fact that, number one, I am an optimist. Number two, I have a very strong religious faith. Um, prayer calms you down. Mm -hmm. uh, I use it very frequently. Um, and I'm a people person. I love people to be with them, to help them. 
So in to your, do it again. In all of this teaching career that you've done, you've helped a lot of people, I know that. Right? Yes. Is anyone in, anyone in particular that you, that you think back of, of what music has done for that person because you taught them how to play music? Well, I'll tell you one little incident. I taught my senior boys how to do falsetto. Mm -hmm. And then when I would have rehearsal, all of a sudden I would hear this real heavy soprano in the back of the room and they would they would tease me but that's the kind of relationship I had with my students and I did Broadway shows with them what, what? junior high wow and uh, I would say one of my students just received an Oscar last year who is that he plays on Days of Our Lives. Oh, I don't watch that one. What's it? What's his, which one is he's it? He's Eric Martzoff was his name. Oh, my best shouldn't tell his name. That's okay. Oh, 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 I think people know who he is. <laughs> he's been on a time. A uh, another well, girl. An, an Emmy or an Oscar? An Emmy? Oscar. Oh, get it. Go, go, he was on, he was in a movie. No, he was, he's been on that show for I don't know how many years and he did other things. But isn't that, if he gets a, an, uh, an award for that, well, now I'm, an Emmy, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, an you Emmy, to Emmy for TV, Oscar for the movies. There you go. Okay, so he's working. So Good. He, so you're... Still learning. Thing. Yes, always. <laughs> you know that. Not only, on, no, I've, had, I've also had students go to New York and, and off-Broadway. Wow. Um, I can also, there's a whole, whole family that have, have been, had their own shows. The... Um, the last TV show that I produced, performed, edited, was when the WGCB in Redline Station opened, and uh, I took part in that while I was still teaching. So? So you've been keeping on going. You've been going and going and going. You're like yes. the energi Energizer Bunny, right? Yes. So how is your health now? How do you feel now? So so, we'll keep going. Keep, um, I've had to take a, a little respite this last past year, because my husband had a stroke. Yes, I heard about. You that. heard it. Yeah. 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 I heard about that. So I've um, been on vacation a little bit, okay. but I'll go back. I'm going to perform today for the first time. Excellent. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yeah. And I appreciate your coming and reminding us that even regardless of our age, our age is such an asset, or if we just keep going. Just keep age is a number. Age is a number. Attitude is a different thing. Ah, that's it. There's, right. So there's no, no limit on the attitude. No. I love it. Correct. Love it. Yeah. And thank you. For and that. I will go to my grandmother. My grandmother lived to be 107. Oh, so you're just a child. Yes. And may I say, my hair is natural. <laughs> yes, you may say that. <laughs> thank you so much for coming <laughs> and for reminding us that age is Oh, an thank aspect. you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Thank, thank you, dear. <laughs> thank you for following Storied Women on The People Chronicles. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, The People Chronicles, and you won't miss any stories. These community stories are made possible in part by BCTV, Susie Ray Design, Queen City Family Restaurant, Lamar Advertising, Heidelberg Family Restaurant, Reading Air, Lions and Hole, Peanut Bar, and Kutztown University.